I just realized I didn't press record. So, I said, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider clicking the subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome back. It's that time of week again. Crush it all. So, we got a buffalo chicken. Cheddar cheeseburger. This is lunch today. Cheesy meatball marinara. Bacon and egg scramble. General Cow. Fettuccine Alfredo. Bathroom door. Butter chicken. Potato cheddar potato bake. I forgot what it was. Cream cheese. I almost called this carrots. Cherry yogurt. Peach. Just now, how do you think I got the bag? Just five to six pounds, so it's gonna be a little bit of 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 a little I cannot believe. Bread. Bread. White. Holy. White. Um. Holy. I just want blank. I what it was. Checks. Checks for breakfast. Two of these. Bagels. So Chris, these are gonna really brown, and the big thing here is don't touch them. Don't touch them. Pickle. Let them sit like this. That's how you're gonna create that really nice even char on the bottom. Green hamburger. Going, these are going to the food bank, right? These are going to the food bank. Salad. Bananas. Uh, pears. What were the pears called? Angie pears. I'm going to add two tablespoons of white vinegar. If you decide to use the pre-made horseradish, you just want one Asparagus. Two things. Can this go with dinner tonight? Salami. And palm. Two things of palm. Oh, there's honey ham and... Black Forest Ham. Yeah. Exactly. Next thing. Sidekicks for the food bank. Taco Shell. A lemon curd filled cake. This is dessert tomorrow, right? Dessert tomorrow. Once in a while here in Knoll Street, we like to ask our culinary friends about one of their favorite kitchen tools. We asked Sarah Bolton, who's barbecue sauce, on the show, and she likes an eight inch cake ripper for getting things off of the counter. Pass the sauce. So if you have a big job like chopped chocolate, disgusting nice smoked oysters. But this eight inch lifter can do it all at one time like that. Just so and also if you're doing something like tomatoes, they have a lot of juice to them. Apple sauce. Off the board without making a real mess. So we chopped a few there. Now if and I scotch to bonnet. The board, Hot sauce. Nice. That just isn't a problem, but let me try the cake with her. So we can take Oats. all the tomatoes and, and put them in the bowl. 
so another dish of soap. And beans. You know what they so say. Cherries. Uh, Mushrooms. More mushrooms. I'm just going to place this all. I'm just going to whisk this up together. So it's blended. Tomatoes. And now we're going to go back to the dates. Some recipes do top them, but we might go to the dates and then finish the cake. So we're actually just going to go ahead and put some food packs. Raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah, raspberries. Celery. 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 Okay, Chris, I just took this beautiful cake out oh, of the oven. Oh, and salad. Well, that's the best part. So we always are going to let this cake. Ring, ring, cheese. Waiting for that, we're going to make the sauce. We're going to start with a half of the animal brown sugar. Two-thirds of a cup of honey syrup. And then we're going to add a pinch of the cake. Not as sweet as the cake. Everything. And then we're going to add a pinch of the cake. Two teaspoons of almond zest. Two teaspoons of almond zest. Cheeseburger. All this into two hundred fifty dollars. Bye.